Hey there! So what I'm doing today, trying to degas this apple cider juice, or what you would call it is apple wine. I, I just found out that apple juice wine is basically just hard cider, but I like wine better, so wine it is. I'm putting it back into this thing, and then I'm gonna degas it. If you don't know what degassing is, You'll see. I, I at least you hope you see. These things have been uh, sitting there for about a week. Oops. It's like champagne. I've been sprayed a lot. In case you're wondering why this ain't gassing, it's because it, uh, I already tasted it and I learned that these things are under pressure. This is really more of a foam at this point. And to whoever, whoever said for me to dress up like a bunny, fuck you. I'm just gonna shake up the giant gallon really. Well, we started with a gallon. And now we, we're, we're about half a gallon because, I don't know, reasons. It's a boring part. I'm shaking them up to get rid of the excess yeast sediment that went through the straining process. That foam, that's a lot of air. I gotta do something about that. And I gotta fill these back up. It's gonna be a slow process. So it's important to use a, a spoon with some holes in it, preferably. And then I need to start. I get rid of that excess air that's trapped into it and makes it look like it's carbonated. I gotta make it flat somehow. It'll naturally go flat on its own, as one would hope so. Oh wow, that, that actually nicely did it. Wow, alright. This will go by faster. Hear that? That's a lot of fizz. 
even though it ain't, it ain't carbonated technically. Man, this is just enough for uh, one bottle. I like this. I like it a lot. I guess two cups is really just enough for a bottle of these things. My guess is you have to stir for at least maybe 50 seconds. Maybe a minute or two. But it'll naturally go out on its own. I just want to make sure it doesn't go like carbonated soda would. Hold on. Huh. Well, that's weird. That one's freaking filled up in this ain't. I'm all right with that. This still needs a week. Before I can even think about tasting it. I mean, I already tasted it off screen. I should probably make this official now. But I, I tasted it off screen and uh, it tasted like vinegar. So don't taste it right after you strain it. It needs about one or maybe two weeks for it to even be good enough to taste. Even then, I probably messed up because I used powdered sugar like a dope. Got the guy's sleeve! Alright, what sleeve? Oh no, crack! God dang it, why do I make too much? I probably did it too fast. Yeah, I did, I did do it too fast. Ah, oh, crap. Sleeves, sleeves. I have enough for two more bottles. Good enough for me. It's always good to make a spiral. I plan on using the sample juice jug. So, I got some uh, real apple cider. It, it ain't alcoholic, but give me a minute. When you put them next to each other, I swear, this one just looks like vinegar. Or wait, hold on. Do they both of them look the same? Yeah, they look the same. This one looks like vinegar. This one don't. This one's sweeter, this one ain't, so I'm hoping this one gets its sweetness back because that's something I really want to happen. I got the fizziness out of the way because apparently that gets in the way of uh, the taste. I'll defizz them again someday. But I got most of them done. And off to the wine rack they go. I don't know if this is even worth it. See you later. Have fun. See ya.